Chapter 130 Finding One's Path, it was actually the domain of perpetual ice that exposed his soul ring, Hu Yuao looked at him quietly, he was calmer now. Since Elder Mu was too powerful, he couldn't resist no matter how he dealt with him. After realizing this point, he didn't try to correct anything, and allowed Elder Mu to deal with him. His calmness also made him much more composed. He could subtly feel that Elder Mu didn't harbor any ill intentions towards him though he had exposed him. Elder Mu explained, I've cultivated for my entire life, and roamed the continent for more than 200 years. I have seen countless soul masters and even more martial souls, but it's my first time seeing a situation like yours. I sense the special characteristic of your second martial soul. I even went to the extreme north for it and caught an ice jade scorpion. It's indeed different. Although your martial soul is similar to an ice jade scorpion, there were no ice jade scorpions that possessed the azure green, five joint tail like your martial soul. After a period of observation, I discovered that stronger ice jade scorpions had greener tails. That's why I'm certain that if your second martial soul belongs to an ice jade scorpion, it must be the king of the ice jade scorpions. It may even be the Ice Jade Empress Scorpion, the second among the three heavenly kings of the extreme north and the top among the ten great savage beasts. A deep fear rose from Huo Yuao's heart. Elder Mu actually went to the extreme north to verify his martial soul, and even conducted research on the Ice Jade Scorpions in the extreme north. He had made an accurate analysis. Elder Mu was indeed too brilliant. Huo Yuao felt as if he was entirely exposed in front of Elder Mu. Elder Mu continued saying, When I returned, I analyzed this condition that appeared on your body. The only answer that I have is that you possess a hundred thousand year soul ring and a hundred thousand year soul bone. To better observe your condition, I watched the tournament in Stalui City, especially the few important rounds. Your abilities were revealed when you faced strong opponents, especially when you unleashed your domain type ability. I can clearly feel that your bones have surpassed normal conditions. This has also further verified my judgment, but your imitation skill was good, and you concealed it well. Even I couldn't get the complete picture. It's been at least 50 years since something has aroused my curiosity, but you've aroused it now. I wonder then how was it possible for a teenager like you to fuse with an Ice Jade Empress Scorpion's soul ring and soul bone? And this Ice Jade Empress Scorpion must have had a cultivation of at least 200,000 years. You even made it your martial soul. I am certain that less than five people in Shrek Academy can bear the fusion of that kind of optimal soul ring, and those people already have nine rings to themselves. Nine rings is the limit of an ordinary soul master, and we don't have twin martial souls. The fact is that even if we could find and kill an Ice Jade Empress Scorpion, we couldn't put its soul ring to use. I discovered later on that the power of the Ice Jade Empress Scorpion should exist in your body, but it's just that this power has been sealed. How did this seal come about? You've indeed piqued my curiosity. I thought for a good six months before coming up with the Force guess. Before you went to the extreme north and planned to obtain the second soul ring for your spirit eyes, you met the Ice Jade Empress Scorpion. Who couldn't break through its bottleneck? Huh? Ice Jade Empress Scorpion couldn't bear for its formidable strength to disappear before it passed on. Thus it sealed its powers and gave them to you. That's how you got your second martial soul. You were also given its soul ring and soul bone. It seems like this is the only logical explanation. But here comes the question: Why did you go to the extreme north to hunt for soul beasts and soul rings, even though you possess a spiritual type martial soul? Even though the Ice Jade Empress Scorpion sealed your powers, it's not something that someone as small as you should be able to bear. And how did the Ice Jade Empress Scorpion become your martial soul directly? I can't find the answers to these. Who are you? Out pursed his lips and did not speak. Elder Muse's wasn't entirely correct, but it was close to the answer. Elder Muse smiled and said, "There are too many peculiarities on your body. If I didn't observe your body and verify that you were human, I might really suspect that you were a soul beast reborn. Everyone has their own destiny. I can't fully tell your condition, but I can see steadiness and sincerity on you. Your performance is." The tournament left me extremely comforted too. If you're willing to, I hope to play the role as your listener before I leave this world. But I won't force you. Aren't you going to ask me? The unexpected turn of events left Huo are feeling incredulous. I won't. I believe that my guess is not far from the truth. Since you have such a destiny, I am delighted for you as your senior. Before I verified that you were human, I really hoped that you really had such a destiny. Don't forget that you're now part of Shrek's seven monsters. Shrek's imprint has been carved. Imprint has been carved onto your body. How? An elder's train of thought is different from a young person's. Am I right? Ha ha. Who are you? I took in a deep breath after remaining in a daze for a moment. He said seriously, "Thanks for your belief. I won't let you down." Elder Mu said, "You saw those hanging skulls. These are skulls from soul beasts called terrifying demon dragons. The terrifying demon dragons are earth and evil dragons, but are not very powerful. But they are a rare spiritual type dragon species. After a terrifying demon dragon passes on due to natural causes, its skull will retain some of its spiritual power that won't diminish over time. It's not difficult to kill a terrifying demon dragon, but it's difficult to obtain the skull of a terrifying demon dragon after it dies of natural causes. There are 1,001 terrifying demon dragon skulls in this room, and it took the academy 800 years to gather them. I will stimulate the spiritual auras later on, and you'll feel an immense pressure amidst their auras. For your spiritual power to grow, you'll have to bear the immense pressure. It'll be very beneficial to your spirit eyes. I hope that you can comprehend more in the process of cultivation. There's only one." Like this. After he finished speaking, Elder Muse already disappeared, but the pressure of the spiritual power earlier that had weakened grew stronger. Ripples appeared in Huo Yuao's spiritual seat, and an intense undulation of spiritual power caused him to resist it with all his might. Underground hole. Elder Mu was still in the center of the hall, but he had laid back onto his reclining chair. Yen Shaosh and Shen Liner stood beside him. Yen Shaosh asked in a low voice, Teacher, are you really not going to clarify things? Elder Mu shook his head and said, There's no need to. He's a human, and his bloodline is obviously not from the Sun Moon Empire. With these two premises, the rest is unimportant. He's still young, and can still be molded. We can't chill his heart because of our doubts. Yen Shaosh creased his brows slightly and said, If he's a spy sent by the other side, Shen Liner suddenly snorted coldly, If it were you, would you send someone with an ultimate martial soul to be a spy? Furthermore, I analyzed Huo Yuao's progress and experience after he entered the academy. His powers only saw after he graduated from first grade. He must have met with that weird encounter during the holidays. If it were you, would you tell anyone if you had such an encounter? Yen Shaosh wasn't infuriated because of Shen Liner's tone. He only replied as if something was his mind. Liner, I understand what you're saying. But don't you find it a coincidence that the spirit eye's second soul ring came to possess imitation at the same time he gained the ice jade Empress Scorpion as his martial soul? It's so coincidental that it seems everything was planned. Shen Liner said coldly, I only know that I would recall my spy if he obtained an ultimate martial soul from some miraculous opportunity and nurture him with all my strength. At the same time, I would not send an eleven year old kid into my enemy's camp. How unpredictable are kids? Yen Shaosh, you're always so narrow minded and lack magnanimity. You Yen Shaosh turned red and white from Shen Liner's censure, but he didn't dare to flare up in front of Elder Mu. Elder Mu smiled and interrupted. All right, the both of you have squabbled for many decades already. I've already made my decision on you, Al. This kid deserves to be nurtured by the Academy. Even Tang San, the true core of the first generation Shrek Seven Monsters, had his own secrets. Yen Yen Shaosh nodded his head and said, Teacher, regarding their future arrangements, Elder Mu said, they will be in close to cultivation here for some time. Once they're finished, allow them to return to the outer courtyard. After all, they're still young, and it's not good for their development if we put too much pressure on them. The two of you need to monitor the other four and give them the best aid and guidance. You must ensure that they enter the inner courtyard, but don't make the test easier for them. After
Tang Ye reprimanded him. You're so rude. I'm the head of the Tang sect. Your teacher. Bei Bei extended his arms and the smile on his face didn't change. Come teacher, give me a hug. Tang Ye pursed her lips slightly and glared at him. After that, she rushed into his arms and hugged his waist tightly. She started to bawl. Bei Bei hugged her slender finger and was a little stunned. What's wrong? Did someone really bully you? In his heart, Tang Ye had always been like a cheerful angel. Although she had the heavy burden of rebuilding the Tang sect, she was still a very cheerful person. Although Bei Bei had been away from her for a long time, she should have at most censured him with a few words. She wouldn't wail uncontrollably like this. Tang Ye didn't reply and only hugged him as she cried. She cried until Bei Bei's shirt was drenched with her tears. She then lifted her swollen, red eyes and said, "I'm fine." Bei Bei lifted his hand uncourteously above her head and knocked it. Why would you cry so hard if nothing was wrong? Let's return to the dormitory first. Tang Ye's dormmate was Jiang Nanan. Jiang Nanan was not around, and she had followed Chu Sanchi to the pharmacy. Sanchi to the pharmacy and wouldn't return anytime soon. It wasn't Bei Bei's first time sneaking into the ladies' dorm. Although the academy had rules, they couldn't possibly catch every trespasser. Tang Ye opened her door and entered before opening the window for Bei Bei to climb in. He wasn't spotted. But even if he was, who in the outer courtyard would dare to expose him? Tang Ye and Jiang Nanan's room didn't have too many decorations. It was simple and pleasant. Jiang Nanan's mattress even had patches. Tang Ye dragged Bei Bei onto the bed to sit down. She leaned into his arms and hugged him tightly. There was no news, even though all of you were gone for so long. How was the tournament? Bei Bei gazed at her deeply and didn't pursue the doubt in his heart. He recounted his experiences to her. He had always been someone who could control his temperament and was patient. That's why he recounted everything in detail and only finished when it had already turned dark outside. What? The academy rewarded all of you by making all of you Shrek's seven monsters. Tanya was stunned and she sat up. She opened her eyes wide and looked at him as if she didn't recognize him. Bei Bei nodded and said, I'm very surprised too, but I'm also delighted. Why? Are you not delighted? You need to know that five of us out of the seven hails from Tang Sect. Tanya furrowed her brows and shook her head slightly. I'm elated for all of you, but can all of you still do anything for Tang Sect now that all of you have become Shrek's seven monsters? Too many of the Academy's imprints have been carved onto your bodies. Bei Bei laughed uncontrollably. Why not? The Academy won't restrict our freedom. Furthermore, the relationship between the Academy and Tang Sect has always been quite good. How is it good? Tanya was furious as she shook her head. Her eyes even flashed with a tinge of hostility. Where was the academy when the Tang sect was going downhill? I was chased out of my own home. Where were they when the Tang sect ended? Did they help us as the continent's top academy? Bei Bei was a little stunned as he looked at Tang Ya's expression. Xiao Ya, are you fine? Your emotions are. It was his first time seeing Tang Ya revealing such an expression. Tang Ya threw her head down forcefully, as if she was trying to wrench something to the ground. She lowered her head and said, Sorry, I'm fine. Bei Bei couldn't see that a shred of dim purple had flashed across Tang Ya's bright, white eyes. It wasn't the glow of the purple demon eyes, but a dim purple that carried an aura of death. Bei Bei hugged her once again and said, Xiao Ya, don't waste your time. The Tang sect declined because due to its own actions, besides the lack of advantage of secret weapons, the Tang sect's past leaders also had all sorts of problems. These led to the fall of the Tang sect, which was once prosperous. But you should be seeing a glimmer of hope now. There's Yuao, Hikatu, Wang Dong, Xiao Xiao, and me by your side. We can help you rebuild the Tang sect, help it become prosperous again when our powers grow. We're still young, and we've time to work hard for the Tang sect's rise. Tang Ya laughed bitterly. Tanya laughed bitterly and said, But have you ever thought of what I'm capable of doing for Tang Sect as its leader? All of you are already Shrek Seven Monsters, but I'm getting further and further from all of you. I'm also aware that I won't make it into the inner courtyard. I'm not that capable, and the inner courtyard won't let me in just because I'm the Tang Sect's leader. No, don't think like that, Bei Bei said hurriedly. Why can't you make it if you're willing to work hard? We'll try our best to get you into the inner courtyard. Tanya shook her head and said, Bei Bei, don't be like this. I don't want to become your burden. Do you understand? You should be cultivating tirelessly now and get into the inner courtyard next year. Do you know why I was crying just now? That's because I've decided to leave Shrek. What? Bei Bei was shocked upon hearing her words. His smile also disappeared instantly. Xiaoya, what's wrong? He could clearly feel the change in Tanya after more than a month without seeing her. He even felt a sense of unfamiliarity from her, as her personality had changed greatly. He hadn't even seen her smile ever since he had returned. Tanya lifted her head to look at Bei Bei, and her eyes were filled with sorrow. I don't want to leave, but saying he no longer holds any meaning for me. I'll only tie you down. Since I can't get into the inner courtyard, I need to try my best to carve out a path for the Tang Sex future. I cried because I can't bear to leave you. Bei Bei, do you know that I'll really miss you? Stop speaking. Bei Bei interrupted her rather violently and hugged her tightly in his arms. You can't go, do you hear me? Tanya replied faintly. You know my character. I won't ever change my mind. Tears streamed down her cheeks, but she never cried out. But the sorrow in her eyes wasn't simply because of her impending departure. Xiaoya, listen to me. Bei Bei said gently. We're still young. Why do you have to be so impatient? Tanya buried her face in his arms. Stop persuading me. You don't know how hard it was for me to make this decision. I must leave. I've already tended my leave from the academy. I hesitated on whether I should wait for you to return. I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to make my decision when you return. But I was more afraid that my sudden departure would be too much for you to bear and affect your studies. That's why I decided to bear the pain of my departure and tell you about it clearly. Bei Bei's body shook. Xiaoya, have you really made up your mind? He understood her, and knew the stubbornness that was deeply rooted in her bones. Tanya nodded slightly. Bei Bei took in a deep breath and tried to calm himself down forcefully. Where are you going then? At least tell me the place so that I can find you during the holidays. Tanya replied softly, I will return to the Heavenly Soul Empire where the Tang Sect originated. I will rebuild the Tang Sect in the Heavenly Soul Empire's capital. Our Tang Sect family is also there. Heaven Do City was named to remember the Heaven Do Empire that once existed. The Tang Sect will always be tied to this city. While the Tang Sect may not be around temporarily, they're still connected. I will go back and contact them. I'll at least find a place for the Tang Sect. Bei Bei creased his brows. Must you go to Heaven Do City? The Tang Sect's former address was there. I'm a there. I'm afraid they will do something bad to you. Tang Ye answered, I won't let them discover me. This is unless I can push them into a corner and regain the Tang Sect's territory one day. Bei Bei saw the hostility in Tang Ye's eyes once again, and was filled with discomfort. What if I don't let you go? Tang Ye's gaze turned tender again. She gently caressed his face. Bei Bei, you're the one who understands me the best in this world. I can't do anything for the Tang Sect in terms of my abilities. If you don't let me contribute to the rebuilding of Tang Sect, I won't be happy. I will wait for you in the Heaven Do City as I set up the Tang Sect Foundation. We'll seize the Tang Sect's estate and rebuild the Sect one day when you, who are you and the rest achieve something. This is something I have to do. Who are you was like a small boat amidst a spiritual windstorm as the immense spiritual power exerted pressure on him. He maintained himself as the windstorm raged. While the windstorm was very frightening, he never submitted. Who are you was also unsure of how much time had passed. His spiritual sea seemed to be hammered into shape as it was assaulted repeatedly. His spiritual sea had shrunk by a third from the start till now, but he realized that his spiritual power had become more condensed at the same time. Based on the total spiritual power in the quiet chamber, it would be impossible for Huo Yu to bear if they were all in an offensive
fighting his own path that his future road to mastery would become smoother, and he would not be lost. But what was his path? Soul Master. Soul Engineer. The Soul Type. Ultimate Ice Soul Master. Control Type. Spirit Ice Soul Master. Everything he learned seemed a little heterogeneous now, and it didn't seem to come together. The path he was supposed to find was supposed to teach him how to fuse all his strengths together. The external pressure sparked the enhancement of his spiritual power, and he also became more and more composed. He wasn't anxious at all. He tried to painstakingly sense all the capabilities in his internal world and slowly find a path that belonged to him. What's your path? Elder Mew lay quietly on the recliner chair and looked at the young lady in front of him with a gentle gaze. Xiao Xiao had grown thinner. She wasn't fat in the first place, but was even thinner now. She even seemed a little bony, but her eyes had become brighter. My path is auxiliary. Xiao Xiao answered without hesitation. Oh. Elder Mew was a little stunned. Why did you choose auxiliary? Xiao Xiao answered confidently. I have two martial souls. They are the three live soul crush cauldron and the nine phoenix worshipping flute. The nine phoenix worshipping flute is a sound type martial soul, and can turn into either a control type or auxiliary type martial soul. My first soul skill is the auxiliary type, and I don't wish to waste it. That's why the nine phoenix worshipping flute can only be an auxiliary type, whereas my three live soul crush cauldron can be a control type or defense type. It can even be used defensively. It belongs in the category of 10,000 gold oil. So from what I see, the abilities that it is can be used for auxiliary purposes. I'm confident in becoming a top ranked auxiliary type battle soul master if it's paired with my nine phoenix worshipping flute. Elder Mew laughed. This is a new term to me. I've only heard of auxiliary type tool soul masters. I'm a battle soul master. Xiao Xiao said confidently. My aid will be active. This is my path. Elder Mew looked at her. Are there any other reasons why you've made this choice? Xiao Xiao nodded slightly. Because Shrek's seven monsters need someone in that role. Elder Mew smiled. Although the smile on his frail and elderly face didn't look nice, it was filled with benevolence and comfort. Very well, you found your path. I'm happy for you. Xiao Xiao laughed too. But, how long will I be here? Elder Mew, I'm hungry. I feel. Elder Mew smiled more radiantly. Silly kid, your deep meditation lasted 34 days and 12 hours. Get something to eat first. After that, you can fuse the soul bone you got as a reward. He opened his eyes slowly. His huge, purplish blue eyes were clear and bright. His body was smooth and translucent, like a golden ruby. A gentle, golden light shone from his body. I never expected my path to be like this, but I'm confident that I'm right. Wang Dong got up, and the golden radiance around his body suddenly soared up like flames. He was filled with a divine aura under the support of the flames. He understood many things through his deep meditation. He even completed his second fusion, or rather a true fusion, with his golden light left arm bone. He only understood what the strength of the golden light was now. What was more important was the increase in his soul power. Where was this place? It was the stem of the golden tree. It contained the purest power of light. Those with light type martial souls would experience the most the experience the most obvious and greatest increase in soul power here. Rank 36. This was Wang Dong's current soul power. It was a rank even he wouldn't have expected. More importantly, the increase wasn't followed by any side effects. In this period of time, his body quality also soared, and his understanding of the true meaning of light was far greater than what it was before. Wang Dong stood up as he let out a long breath. His body was extremely light. Even when he breathed, he seemed to swallow and spit out light elements. His complexion had also become smooth and clean. The dim pink on his skin was filled with the taste of healthy sunlight. Wang Dong's golden radiance slowly retracted as he pushed the door open, and his soul power circulated smoothly. His mind also seemed to be isolated from his cultivation state as he walked out the door. You are, how are you? I've improved. What'll happen when we form the Hadon power again? He seemed to sense something at this point. He turned his head suddenly and looked towards the end of the tunnel. He saw someone walking out from the innermost door. It wasn't well here, but Wang Dong saw a pair of shining, bright eyes. You Al. Wang Dong exclaimed in surprise before bursting towards him. Yes, it might or might not be a coincidence, but who are you Al walked out at the same time that Wang Dong finished his cultivation. Wang Dong. Just like how Wang Dong was shocked when he saw him, Hua Yuao was equally shocked when he saw Wang Dong bursting towards him. Wang Dong had grown taller, and was now almost his height. His figure was slenderer and straighter, his purplish blue hair flowed freely behind him, and his facial lines appeared gentler. His handsome face seemed to be better described with the word beautiful, and it felt as if he had become more similar to the lady that danced in the raiment of light. Hua Yuao might have thought that Wang Dong was a girl if he didn't interact with him much. Hua Yuao opened his arms, and the two of them hugged. Their soul power surged into each other's body at this instant, and the Hadong power also circulated at this point. There was a clear, white halo that surrounded Hua Yuao and Wang Dong in the center. This led to the formation of a whirlpool. The intense undulation of their soul power burst forth as they surged, which made the both of them feel as if they were filled with strength. He became stronger. This was the same thought that went through Hua Yuao and Wang Dong's minds, but they didn't simply become stronger. Their strength had soared. Compared to the increase in soul power, it was more important that they could feel a sense of all-roundedness on each other that wasn't there before. It's as if their entire strength had been perfectly fused. Their soul master rankings seemed unable to restrain their true abilities anymore. Wang Dong relaxed his arm and asked Hua Yuao, "Have you found your own path?" Hua Yuao smiled and asked him back, "What about you?" Wang Dong proudly said, "Of course I did. I'm so talented. Of course I managed to find it." Hua Yuao laughed, "Then I would have found it naturally too. Since you're a talent and I'm better than you, I must be the talent among all the talents." Wang Dong snorted and said, "How are you better than me?" Hua Yuao chortled and compared their arm muscles. He said, "At least I'm more robust than you. Your body is so soft. Well, it's nice to hug. It lacks manliness." Wang Dong turned red. "I can't be bothered with you. Tell me, what's your path?" Hua Yuao, "I found." As he spoke to this point, a gentle voice resonated in both their ears. Come out and speak. Elder Mew? The two of them were stunned as they looked at each other. They didn't expect Elder Mew to be waiting for them. They walked out of the tunnel quickly, and saw the elder lying on the reclining chair in the middle of the hall. Elder Mew? The two of them bowed respectfully. Elder Mew looked at Hua Yuao before looking at Wang Dong. He revealed a comforted laugh. It seems like the two of you have also found your paths. Wang Dong was surprised as he asked, Also, has Xiao Xiao found hers too? Elder Mew nodded and said, She came out earlier than the both of you. Tell me, what are your paths? Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below with suggestions on what novels to read.